Instead of intensive note-taking sessions, now I just collect ideas and review them. In this video, I want to show you what the process looks like. I've tried different note-taking methods like the Zerokasten and the progressive summarization. They're all great, but over time it became tiring to maintain the system. And eventually it felt like an extra job to do. And after a long day of work, it wasn't something I wanted to do. So nowadays I just do super simple thing and mostly I use two apps, Readwise and this app called Napkin. So I don't really do much of note taking now. Instead, I just collect highlights from books and uh, articles I read and then review them. Uh, that's all. That way you don't waste your time building a complex system and feel stressed trying to maintain it. So I thought I'd show the process today. I do only two things, collecting ideas and reviewing them. I try to read one book a month and I read multiple articles a day. So sometimes I come across cool, interesting ideas. Um, since I can't remember them all, I use a note app like most people. When I find an idea that I want to remember, I save it to Readwise using its Chrome extension. You can use Napkin's Chrome extension too if you prefer, but they essentially do the same thing. And it's the same for mobile too. When I'm on my phone, I usually save things to Readwise. Just highlight the part you want to save and share them to Readwise. Even if it's my random thought or idea, I just put it in Readwise because it's easy and quite fast too. But again, you can use Napkin's mobile app to collect ideas in there directly. It's the same on laptop too, by the way. I have Readwise bookmarked on the sidebar of browser. I can open it anytime quickly and write down ideas. Uh, now, I don't want to waste these ideas I collected, so I want to review them regularly so I won't forget them. The daily digest from Readwise is pretty useful to remember what you read before. It only takes a few minutes and you get to see some of your learnings. But this is actually the part where Napkin shines the most. When it comes to reviewing ideas and getting inspired, nothing comes close in my opinion. I have it connected to Readwise so that I can see all of my notes and highlights in Napkin. The reason why I like reviewing Napkin rather than other apps is that you also get to see your note alongside relevant ones. They do this by analyzing notes with AI. I think this is one of the most ingenious use cases of AI in note apps. This way, you get to find surprising connections between ideas that you never saw before. Also, I love the sense of discovery I get when I'm jumping from note to note. Also, it makes it easy to review your notes by generating playlists like in Spotify, which is a mix of new notes and old ones you haven't seen for a while. So I usually go through my daily mix every day whenever I get free time. And then I also like I can see the only ideas about a certain topic using tags. Uh, for instance, uh, there are some notes I want to see every day. Something like my daily affirmation. For that, it's really useful. So that was my lazy knowledge management system. It's not even a system, really. More like a daily habit. But it's much easier to maintain compared to other hardcore note-taking methods. And uh, I think that's what matters, that you enjoy doing it rather than stressing about it and feeling like an extra job to do. Um, anyway, uh, Readwise and Napkin, they're both brilliant apps and uh, they work really good with each other. The only issue I have though with Napkin is that their mobile app is super basic and you cannot actually see your notes. But they told me that they are releasing a proper mobile app very soon. So I'm very excited about it. Cool. Um, thank you so much for watching. It was a super brief video, but I really appreciate you watching it. If you liked it, please leave a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.